Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, this reading is for all Geminis in the universe, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is a general reading, so messages may or may not resonate, so please take what resonates with you. So, messages for this reading, we've got forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We've got past life relationship. Yes, you have known each other before. We've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Right. Okay, we also got messages here from the Oracle deck. We've got meditation brings answers. Forgiving, forgiveness and remain positive. So lovely. Let's get some tarot, tap into the energy surrounding your situation right now. So do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There is no gender in tarot or just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Eight of Pentacles. Clarify with the Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles and the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Clarified with Queen of Swords. Gemini energy, Knight of Cups, water energy, and Eight of Cups, more water energy. Okay. Right, so um, it looks like some there's some changes taking place here. And that Five of Pentacles, Fives represent changes, so I can see a change is taking place someone is going through a transition making some changes in their life significant changes i could see with that devil energy here as well so i feel like i feel like this person here is um leaving a situation is leaving a, a toxic situation a karmic situation it looks like with that devil energy yeah, so the devil in reverse, so, um, yeah, if this is not you, then this is your person, and that they, they were attached to a karmic situation that just looked like, looks like it wasn't really, it's not really easy to, um, let go of, I mean, obviously, when, when you're dealing with a devil energy, a toxic energy, this is something that has, um, a very powerful attachment to you so it's something that's not really that easy to let go of it happens over time gradually you know it's like smoking if you've been a smoker for years it will you have to um take it takes time to let go of these habits or if you if you're a drinker you're an alcoholic you know people have to go to like aa meetings and it's it's a process it's a process to get rid of um toxic habits, toxic patterns, you know, these toxic attachments because they do have a powerful hold over us. So when you're when you've got a devil energy in your life and you're trying to let go of, it is it's not easy. But I feel someone here is working on it though, because they feel like it's the right thing to do for them. They're working on themselves. I mean, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it indicates someone is working on improving their their circumstances, working on their development, personal development here, you know, working on creating the best for themselves here. And one of the things that they have to work on is this karmic situation. And I feel that's what's going on here. Is keeping this person restricted, hangman energy. However, this hangman is in reverse, so it looks like this um this person feels doesn't feel restricted anymore. 
They're starting to see things differently now. They're starting to feel a bit more free and they've got a new mindset as well. Yeah, because they are dropping the situation. Yeah, we've also got two of pentacles. Two of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, they are dropping another situation. This person is not, not trying to juggle, you know, multiple situations. They're dropping they're dropping toxic karmic situations here to focus on one opportunity. So yeah, I feel like this is your person. If this is not you, this is your person. This person is setting themselves free. We've got release your ex here. The time has come to clear your energy. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is the process. This is the transition. I can see, yeah, someone's going for a transition. Where they are releasing a karmic situation. Letting go of control. I feel like the situation was very controlling. I mean, with this devil energy, it's controlling. That's what I'm saying. It was a powerful attachment this person had with someone here. And... Uh, it could have been a very controlling situation as well. So this person is letting go of this controlling situation in their life. You know, releasing releasing their ex, releasing toxic attachments. Unhealthy attachments here. And they're working on themselves. That is beautiful because... Yeah, I feel like... Um, yeah, this is someone that really wants... Um, to create new opportunities in their life. With that three of ones energy. Three of ones is making plans for the future. I mean, this is someone looking out into the future here. This is someone on their own as well. Yeah, doing their own thing. Yeah, ready to manifest a life that they truly desire. You know, and create opportunities that will give them more growth an expansion in their life, more abundance. Yeah, they're moving on. Moving on, out with the old and in with new. So I really feel like this person here is just what is thinking about you. This is someone that feels left out in the cold by you, Five of Pentacles. You may feel left out in the cold by this person also. But um, I really feel it's because they had a controlling karmic situation going on. I don't feel I don't feel like they want to leave you out in the cold, but I feel it was best that you was because with of this devil karmic energy, <laughs> it was best that you was left out in the cold, mate. Because this energy was controlling; it was toxic. You know, I feel maybe for some of you, you may have been attached to this situation yourself and you let you set yourself free so yeah it was best that you guys are left out in the cold right about now but um yeah i feel like you set this person free yeah this is why they feel left out in the cold by you because you detached yourself from this toxic situation So this is why this person you've left this person out in the cold because they were attached to a karmic situation. So it's no wonder they feel left out in the cold. So I feel like they realise that now because they don't want to be left out in the cold by you because we've got eight of cups. They want to return and try again with you. This is someone that wants to try one more time with you. I feel like they are working on themselves here so that they can... Um, yeah, be available for you in the right way. That's what I'm getting. Because this is someone that's got a lot of feelings for you here. Knight of Cups. They have, they've got a lot of feelings for you here. And they are looking towards, coming towards you right about now. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini Energy. They are looking at you, kid. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean... You got a jealous lover here. Knight of Cups in reverse. That's a jealous lover. Yeah, this is someone that's quite jealous over you. I feel like if you're not giving this person any attention, yeah, they get very jealous. They're getting their feelings over you a lot. 
I feel a very so strong soulmate energy between you guys. We've got past life relationship. You have known each other before. So yeah, you guys may have um your souls know each other from previous lifetimes. You guys may may be old souls. Yeah, because you guys have a past life relationship. So this is a deep connection here. This is why I feel there's, there is a powerful attachment between you guys also. This is why they can't walk away from you. No matter what happens between you guys, you guys will always come back to each other to heal. Yeah, this is like, it's like some, some of you may even have a soul contract with this person. I mean, it's deep here. If you believe in those sort of things, yeah, it's deep. There's a deep connection here. So this is why they come back to you. I feel like this person wants forgiveness as well. We've got forgiving and learning. Yeah. Yeah, let's dig a bit deeper. We've got Ten of Swords. Yeah. It's a lot of pain, painful endings. Oh, this person is in pain. They hurt. Nine of Cups. Oh, the Empress. Libra Taurus energy. Okay, yeah, wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. This person is so jealous over you. I mean, you are everything to them. I mean, you are like their wish come true. You're their wish come true. I feel like you affect this person in ways that you don't even know. You probably affected this change in this person's life even you know it's deep I feel you affected this person this person's whole life you know you you affect the way they see things the way they do things this is why they want to work on themselves now and they're working on improving themselves so that's amazing because you know empress you're giving them empress vibes here so this is why they're so drawn to you. You are the divine mass, divine feminine. You are embodying your divine feminine energy. This is why they're so drawn to you. Because the Empress energy is very attractive. They attract a lot, a lot of attention. A lot of people are drawn to them because of your, you know, caring, nurturing vibes you know you got very healing energy you know people anywhere you go people are just drawn to you and so people feel good when they're around you as well because you have some you have a, a healing energy you know maybe it's your personality your aura your looks your smile whatever it is it just brightens up someone's day you know and people are just drawn to you. And this person here, I'm very, I'm telling you, they want all of your energy. They're so jealous. <laughs> they want it all. They. This is their dream. Nine of Cups. So yeah, this person is working on themselves here to um, manifest their dreams of being with you. Really, I feel like this person wants commitment here. But yeah. They want to turn their Eight of Cups into a Nine of Cups. From eight to nine. Yeah. Progress. So, yeah. There's progress here. Three of Wands. Yeah. The progression. Growth. Expansion. Because, um, yeah. Healing. Healing needs, needs to take place here. Because I feel like this person hasn't got over the fact that things are the way they are between you and them. They haven't got over it. And it hurts. I feel like they may have tried to bury the pain deep down and carry on like nothing. But deep down it is still hurting them and they need to heal because it's affecting it's affecting them right now, you know. And this is what I'm saying, you guys you guys come back to each other to heal. You are their healer, Empress. You got that healing energy. This person's coming back to you to heal. I feel this person may even heal you in ways as well. When they come back to you here, they they may even give you healing that you didn't even know that you need. 
I'm telling you, yeah, because it's all about forgiving and learning. So it is important. This is a life lesson here. You guys are going through together. We help each other heal. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, that's what. That's why it's important that you guys really like work this out. You know, if it's important for your spiritual growth. Yeah, because it leads us to this card here as well that jumped out. Forgiveness, that jumped out as well for the advice. So it says, forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you to let go of sadness or pain caused by others so that you can be set free. This card can also refer to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on to regarding past mistakes you may have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best, even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. Yes, this is, this is um, why it's important here that you guys come together and heal this situation here. You both can benefit from forgiving yourselves and forgiving each other here in this situation. It's very important. Whether you know it or not, when you whether you want to believe it or not, spirit knows. And spirit knows what's good for you. Your angels know what's good for you. So I really strongly feel That that is the lesson here. That is the guidance here as well. Remain positive. So the angels are asking you to keep an optimistic attitude. There is a very positive momentum beginning to build towards the creation of your desires. You're speeding your dreams along by maintaining a cheerful and confident, confident demeanour. It may seem as though your plans are taking a long time to manifest, but very soon you will see a change. Don't allow yourself to lose hope when your dreams are so close to coming true. Beautiful. So, yeah. Stay positive. Optimistic attitude. Yeah. Because desires are being created here. You know, I'm that's what I'm getting. There's changes happening here. Someone's going through a transition. They're releasing toxic attachments, toxic situation, toxic karmic situations, yeah, so that they can be available to come and do the right thing with you, where you both can come together and release and heal the past this time, let it go, move on. Move on with a new mindset, a positive mindset. Yes, life lessons, wheel of fortune, the wheel is turning. So yeah, there's a turning point here. There's an opportunity for growth, for you guys to grow and expand together. That is so beautiful. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, your jealous lover is so attracted to you. They just can't get enough of you here, so... I'm telling you, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Growth and expansion, abundance, prosperity, you guys. Once you guys figure this out, you guys can expect abundance together and grow and have a prosperous life. This is what this person wants. They really want to work on it here. They really want to work on it here with you guys, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, now's the time to meditate, connect with your higher selves. So it says, trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within through meditation or inner spiritual work. So you may also gather insights from your dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. Beautiful. So I hope this reading helps you guys. I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you so much for watching.